CIETNCERT presents the audio book Joyful Textbook of Mathematics for Class 2 Page 98 Chapter 9 Which season is it Seasons Five seasons in a year Spring begins with a cheer Flowers bloom the birds sing when comes the merry spring Summer comes with the shining sun and a long day for children to play. Rainy season comes with the water drops. Peacock dances and the frog hops. Page 99. Leaves fall on the ground. Pleasant winds on the way is when it is an autumn day. Winter is when I am all in snow. from head to toe now we have an image for you on the page in the image we can see a clear blue sky and the birds are chirping and we can also see a butterfly there with some trees and flowers as well in the second image we see sun shining in the sky a boy and a girl very happily walking in the park in the third image we see a rainy season the peacock is dancing and the frog is hopping here we have an image of the autumn season where leaves from the trees are falling on the ground the next image shows a winter season we can see a snowman built by them let us discuss a in which season do you go on a vacation B Your birthday falls in which season of the year C Which is your favorite season why D What is special about your favorite season Read the poem aloud and enact discuss the special things that they do in different seasons also talk about the various locally available food and clothes for example faran in kashmir etc also Discuss how the local variations in seasons affect the daily lives of people. Page hundred. Match the seasons with their names and festivals. There are two columns. In first column, there are images of different seasons. The first image shows clear blue sky. We can see birds chirping. We can also see flowers and greenery all around. Second image shows. leaves falling from the trees on the ground the third image shows two kids wearing winter clothes and they have erected a snowman fourth image shows a peacock dancing in the rain and a frog hopping in the rain the next image shows sun shining brightly one of the kids is wiping his face while the other one is walking along him now the second column autumn Dashera, Sharad Purnima, Summer, Guru Purnima, Budh Purnima, Ram Navmi, Mahavir Jayanti, Spring, Gudi Padva, Shivratri, Baisakhi, Holi, Winter, Lodi, Christmas, Republic Day, Guru Nanak Jayanti, Bihu, Monsoon, Janmashtami, Raksha Bandhan, Independence Day. discuss the names of the seasons in hindi such as vasant shishir etc and in other regional languages as well tell them about other festivals like eid which are not seasonal page 101 calendar fun we have a calendar based on the year 2023 there are 12 months january february March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. The first month of the year, January, has thirty-one days. Next is February, which has twenty-eight days in two thousand twenty-three. Then we have March, which again has thirty-one days. Now we move to April. April has thirty days. Next is the month of May. May has 
31 days. The next month is June, which has 30 days. Moving on to the 7th month of the year, July. July has 31 days. Now, the next month, month of our independence, August. August has 31 days. The next month is September, which has 30 days. Now, we come to October. October has 31 days. Next, the 11th month of the year, November. November has 30 days. And finally, the 12th month, December. December has 31 days. Look at the calendar and fill the table. In this table, there are two columns. First column is about months and second column is about number of days. First group of months is January, March, May, July, August, October, December. Number of days, blank. February, number of days, blank. April, June, September, November. Number of days, blank. Page 102. Let us talk. A. Why do we use a calendar? B. Does February have the same number of days in every year? Discuss. C. How many days are there in a week? Blank. Days. D. In the calendar given on the previous page, how many Sundays are there in the month of April? Blank Sundays. E. Which month have five Sundays? Blank, 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 blank. F. Summer vacations are in the months of blank and blank. G. Winter vacations are in the months of blank and blank. H. Find the total number of days in April and March. Blank days plus blank days is equal to blank days. Project work. Make your own calendar of your birthday month and mark your birthday in it. We have a format of a calendar in front of us with names of the weekdays written on top row. You have to fill the calendar with the dates and mark your birth date in it. Discuss the importance of calendar in our day-to-day -day life. Page 103 How long does it take? Match the activity with the duration of time it requires to get completed. Now, we have some activities being shown on the page here. At the center of the page, we have a pie chart which is divided into three parts, days, hours and months. Match the activities with the pie chart according to the time taken. Now, the first activity is cooking. Second is summer vacation. Third, filling a water tank. Fourth, knitting a sweater. Fifth, playing. Sixth, seed to grow into a plant. Seventh, change of season. Eighth, yoga. Discuss the other things that take different durations of time to complete. Page 104 Now, we have a pictorial story of a family's journey to Vijayawada. Date, 24th of November. Time, 8.25 a.m. Scene of a railway station. Grandfather says, Hurry, the train is about to leave. Date, 24th November. Time, 1.15 p.m. Scene inside the train's compartment. The girl says, It is 1.15 p.m. Dadaji. How much more time will it take to reach Nani's house? Grandpa says, Just one more hour to reach Vijayawada railway station. Date, 25th November. Time, 10 p.m. Scene of a wedding taking place in the family. The girl says, Ma, we enjoyed a lot today and look at Mama Ji. He is looking very handsome. The mother replies, Yes, dear. It's his wedding after all. Grandpa says, God bless you, dear. Date 26th of November. Time 
8 a.m. Scene of maternal grandparents house. The boy says, Ma, our train is day after tomorrow. Can we go for sightseeing? The mother says, Yes, we will go to Manglagiri Hills at 11 a.m. Page 105 Date 26 November Time 5 p.m. Scene of grandparents walking with their grandkids in the greens. The girl says, See, Dadi, how beautiful these trees and plants are. There are so many beautiful flowers also. Grandpa says, Children, it's 5 p.m. We will be late. Let us go back. Date, 27th November. Time, 9 a.m. Scene of the family boarding the bus. The family decided to go to Kondavali Fort by bus at 9 a.m. Grandpa says, We will come back after 8 hours. The bus conductor says, Okay, sir, you visit the fort. I will come after 8 hours to pick you all. Have a nice trip. Date, 28th November. Time, 7 p.m. Scene of a railway platform. The boy says, Oh, Papa, our trip ended and now we have to go back to our home. But I am excited to travel back by the fastest train in India called Vande Bharat. The father says, Yes. yes. The girl says, Wow! Date, 28th November, time 11.30pm. Scene of a railway platform. The boy says, Mummy, I can't wait to tell my friends about this exciting trip. The mother replies, Yes, we will make such a trip again very soon. Page 106. Let us talk. A. Why did the family plan a trip? To which place did they go for the trip? What did you like about their trip? B. On which day did they begin their journey? When did they come back? How long was their trip? C. Which places did they visit in their trip? D. How long was their day trip in 1. Manglagiri Hills Blank Hours 2. Kondapalli Fort Blank Hours When did they come back from there? Blank E. For how many hours were they in the train when going from 1. Vishakhapatnam to Vijayawada Blank to blank Blank hours. 2. Vijaywara to Vishakhapatnam. Blank to blank. That is blank hours. Which among the two journey took longer? F. Have you been on a trip recently? What do you enjoy most about trips? Amazing fact. Do you know, Vande Bharat is the fastest train in India. The train is designed in India only and is also India's first train to have an integrated engine and not a separate engine coach. Talk with children about their travel experiences to familiarize them with the idea of duration in terms of days and hours. Also, discuss what is special about their cities. Page 107 Gargi's Day Let us see what Gargi does in a day. Write down the time for each picture. The first image shows Gargi waking up. In the clock, small hand is at 6 and the long hand is at 12, which means it is 6 o'clock or 6 a.m. In the second image, Gargi is drawing water. In clock, the small hand is at 7 and the big hand is at 12. So, the time is 7 o'clock. In the next image, Gargi goes to school. At that time, in the clock, the small hand is at 8 and the long hand is at 12, which means the time is blank o'clock. In the next image, Gargi is studying. In the clock, the small hand is at 10 and the big hand is at 12. So, the time is blank o'clock. Find the time. The next image shows Gargi coming back to home. In the clock we can see the small hand is at 1 and the long hand is at 12. The time is blank o'clock. 
find the correct time. In another image, Gargi is taking her lunch. In the clock, small hand is at 2 and big hand is at 12. So, the time is blank o'clock. Find the time. The next image shows Gargi playing with friends. In the clock, small hand is at 4 and the long hand is at 12. So, the time is blank o'clock. Find the correct time. In the last image, Gargi is going to sleep. In the clock, the small hand is at 9 and big hand is at 12. So, the time is blank o'clock. Find the time. Let us talk. Look at the position of the short hand, hour hand and long hand, minute hand and observe at what time Gargi does these activities in a day. A. At what time does she wake up? Blank. B. When does she go to school? Blank. C. At what time does she have her lunch? Blank. Page 108 Let us do. A. Read the time on the clock. In the first image, the small hand is at 6 and the long hand is at 12. So the time is blank o'clock. In the second image, small hand is at 3 and big hand is at 12. So the time is blank o'clock. In the next image, the small hand is at 9 and the big hand is at 12. So the time is blank o'clock. In the fourth image, the small hand is at 12 and the big hand is also at 12. So the time is blank o'clock. B. Draw hour hand and minute hand on the clock. Now we have images of different clocks without the minute hand and without the hour hand. In the first image, the time given is 3 o'clock. You have to draw the minute's hand and the hour hand accordingly. In the second image, time given is 11 o'clock. You have to draw the hour hand and minute hand accordingly. In the third image, time given is 4 o'clock. You have to draw minutes hand and hour hand accordingly. In the next image, time given is 9 o'clock. Draw the hour hand and minute hand accordingly. In the fifth image, time given is 12 o'clock. You have to draw hour hand and minutes hand accordingly. In the final image, the time given is 6 o'clock. Draw hour hand and minute hand accordingly. Page 109 C. When do you do the activities shown here? Mark them on the clock by drawing the hour hand and the minute hand. When do you study? Mark the hour hand and the minute hand in the given clock accordingly. When do you play? Mark the minute hand and the hour hand in the clock accordingly. When do you take your lunch? Mark the hour hand and the minute hand in the clock accordingly. Now, we have a pie chart for you. At the center of the pie chart, we have a family picture where a grandmother, mother and two kids are shown. On top of them, we have a category which says my age. Write your age here. Then, we go right. The picture says my mother's age. Write your mother's age here. Moving forward, it says my sister's age. Write your sister's age here. And finally, it says my grandmother's age. Write your grandmother's age here. Page 110 Let us play. Knowing Direction Ask a child to volunteer from the class. Blindfold him or her. Give directions to the blindfolded child to move from one spot to another. For example, move from the last bench to the blackboard. For directions, use these words only. Right, left or straight. The game will go on for 5 to 7 rounds with different children volunteering themselves. Ask the children to decide a safe word like danger 
when one is about to get hit by objects in the classroom. To increase the difficulty level, you may change the setting of the classroom or keep harmless hurdles on the way. In the image here, we can also see houses of Nia, Astha, their teacher, their school, a hospital and a mall. And behind the mall, we can see a park as well. Sara's way to school. The image shows paths Sara takes to reach her school from her house. Green line is the path taken by Sarah to reach the school. Now, draw a line with different colors to take Astha and Nia from their home to the school. Discuss the use of mobile apps for navigation, that is for locating different places. Page 111 East, West, North or South? Let us stand to face the rising sun. This is the east direction. To your back, you will find the west direction. Put your left thumb out and that is north. On your right is the direction south. So when we step out and move about, we know which direction to go. East, West, North or South? The image here shows a boy standing against the rising sun. Behind his back, we have the west direction. Towards his left, the direction is north. In front of him, we have east direction. And towards his right hand, we have the south direction. He is surrounded by green plants and flowers. Sing the poem with actions. Help children to identify the directions. The direction must be emphasized by the teacher and examples should be given to the children from their immediate surroundings so that they understand the spatial relevance of these words. Page 112 Let us do Look at the classroom shown here and answer the questions by using the words North, South, East and West. Refer to the compass. So we have an image of a classroom here. We see students sitting on their desk facing the blackboard which is in the north direction. Behind the students there is a window located in the south direction. We see a bookshelf there. It is on the west direction. And the door of the classroom lies in the east direction. The students in the first row are Anil, Nitin, Anjali. Students sitting in the second row are Sarah, Haneet and Hiti. In the third row, the students sitting are Meera, Ali and Daneen. There is a boy who is wondering, Do you know a compass is a tool for finding direction? Now, we can see a compass here. With the help of the compass, we can clearly see where does north lie? Where does east and south lie and where does west direction lies? A. Haneet's desk is to the blank of Sarah's desk. B. Elmira is to the blank of Ali's desk. C. To reach the blackboard, Mira must walk towards blank and then blank. D. To feed the birds on the window, Nitin has to walk blank and then blank. Discuss the compass and its usage. Also ask the children to use a compass to find out the directions of objects from different points of reference. You were just listening to this audiobook, Joyful. Narrators, Harpreet Kaur and Neera Jyadav. Technical coordination, Bati Langlingdo. Sound recordist, Vikas Sangwan. Assistance in production, Soumya Malik. Produced and directed by Vimalesh Chaudhary. This audiobook was brought to you by CIET NCERT, New Delhi, India.